Hey guys, so I know I'm probably not focused or you can't really see my face. It's like 10.30, not 10.30, oh my gosh, 7.30. And um, Adrian just called me and, um, you know, actually he was supposed to work today. And every Sunday he works 7 to 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., 14 hours. And they gave him off for whatever reason this week. So he hadn't fallen asleep yet, and he just wanted to, uh, he said he just wanted to hear my voice before he goes to sleep. So, I don't know why he's been up so late, but hopefully he actually sleeps today. Um, anyway, so I am going to listen to a podcast, and then I hope while I'm listening to it, I can go back to sleep and then finish it today or something, so. I just wanted to say good morning, but hopefully I'm going to be going back to sleep soon. So, good morning, you guys. Hey, guys. So, it's just like 12.30 or something. Actually, I almost one. I'm awake. Um, I just have to brush my hair, as you can probably tell. I'm making my cold coffee with matcha right now. And I want to use the new packet, but I don't understand. Because in the so single-serving packets, um, it says, like, there's, it's like a one and a half grams, but then... I don't know how to measure that out with, like, because this is just powder in a bag. Um, so that's the trouble I'm having right now. We are going to see my dad's mom. Um, we saw her for Easter, and it was the first time I saw her for a, a pretty long time, which eventually I'll probably talk about that. Um, but she was really, she was in really, really, really you know, good, like, spirits on Easter. Like, we were shocked. And my parents basically said that, um, we're probably never going to see her like that ever again. Um, she's declined cognitively really, really bad. Um, we're trying to transfer her into a nursing home so she gets better care. And it's very complicated. Dementia is, and extreme old age is very complicated and um, really, really, really upsetting. But anyway, um, I'll let you guys know how the day goes and depending on um, I'm not going to show you guys my grandma, obviously, but, like, I can maybe send you a video of the rehab center she's in, um, because the place, at least, like, cleanliness and, um, like, decoratively, is really, really pretty. Um, I have to figure out this matcha situation, though, so I'll see you guys soon. Came up just to hang out. What is this girl doing? Rosie! doesn't care about me. Wow. <laughs> um, oops, I came upstairs to hang out. I've kind of really started enjoying, like, my evenings, like, to myself. And Rosie! And, um, I watch, like, stuff on YouTube. I've been stretching a lot. I kind of just enjoy the time alone with myself. And, um, so I'm coming up to do that. We watched something on National Geographic for a couple hours, and that was nice. I'm going back, and I'm trying to figure out all of this vlog stuff. Rosie! I'm trying to figure out all of this vlog stuff, because I'm still very behind with the uploads. Um, so I'm gonna hopefully get two out tonight. Then there's a few videos I just want to watch and hang out with. Rosie, come on! She scares me when she does this. Hey, Rosie. Rosie. Psst, psst, psst. Rosie. Attractive. Hey guys, so I just wanted to update you guys on um, like basically what happened the rest of the day. Going off of what I was saying uh, before, is that usually from like 11 until I fall asleep, um, I have like a couple hours to myself and I've been trying to stretch and like watch or listen to podcasts and be on YouTube and stuff and just kind of decompress. So I've really been enjoying doing that at the end of every day. So that's basically what I'm doing now. Um, My grandma was good. This was my 
dad's mom. She is the one that's, she's almost 97 and um, she has dementia now and you know, um, basically she's only been this bad for like a year, which is incredible. She was like 95 with like very limited um, dementia issues. The thing that really sucks about dementia is that like sometimes it's impossible to see like the actual person behind it, which is sorry, which is awful. Um, and my parents pretty much told me that I probably am, I'm not gonna see her, um, you know, as good as I did on Easter ever again. And we did, we saw her, and she was there. I could feel her, like we could all feel her. Um, so it was really cool. That that was actually a good trip. Something else totally random I wanted to talk about is that there's been this like saline shortage that's been going on for basically since the hurricane in Puerto Rico because um, I think the Baxter um, medical supply company is centered in Puerto Rico or something. Their biggest plant is in Puerto Rico, something like that. So when there was the, um, when there was a hurricane People are still out of power and everything, and obviously they can't rebuild, you know, this factory just because. So they could say, I mean, <laughs> you can't get power in some parts of Puerto Rico. You're not going to open up a plant. Um, so there's been a shortage on saline, like fluid bags in the hospital, home health companies. I thankfully am not affected by it. Um, nobody from my home health company has ever said it. You know, I'm, I'm good. Thankfully, I'm good. Um, but I know people who have cystic fibrosis that aren't getting the correct um, inhaled steroids or inhaled medications because it's mixed with saline and people in hospitals that need saline aren't getting them because they're being strict with who gets them. Again, I haven't been affected by this, but it's been bad. And basically um, at Coachella, which is like a massive... Um, like music festival, they had something called the hydration room, I think that's what it was called, where people were coming in paying to have IV fluids for um, like a bit to prevent a hangover basically, to make sure that everybody was like, you know, well enough I guess to be at the festival. And it just bothers me so much, like again, I'm grateful I haven't been affected, excuse me, I haven't been affected by it, but you know, I have so many people that I know or that I'm friends with that are being affected by this. And, you know, the, instead of the people that need the fluids, people in the hospital, people with home health companies that need IV fluids, like they should be the priority. But this company is probably making so much money off of the fact that they're doing it at Coachella that, um, you know, I don't know, I guess, I guess we're being put on the back burner because maybe the people like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but it bothers me just because I do know that there's been such a bad shortage of um, IV saline. And again, thank God I'm I'm not being affected by it, but it just bothers me that like these people literally. And don't get me wrong, I don't talk about this stuff, but I used to drink a lot. Like before I got sick, I drank a lot, and I was a very different person than I am now. And so like. I know how terrible it feels to be hungover, but you can prevent hangovers by by drinking water, you know, or at least mostly prevent them by drinking water. Um, and it's just, it's not fair. It's, you know, people need it. And it's something that, um, you know, we have to be worried about. And it's just not fair that these people that literally, <laughs> you know, could just drink water and then not have to worry about it. But... I don't know, please leave me comments um, on what you guys think about that because um, I'd love to hear your your um, your viewpoint on it. Um, I think it'd be really interesting to see what people have to say. So even if you disagree with me completely or if you agree, just comment. I think it'd be really cool to see what you guys um, have to say about it. So <sighs> I'm going to be down here for another few minutes and I'm going to go back upstairs and do some more stretching. Hey guys, so I'm just doing my eyebrows in bed and just on YouTube, so I've needed to do this for like two weeks, so I hope this isn't too bad, but we will see.
I think it's like 12.30. Hoping my meds head soon.